Welcome you to Wake Up Sports on Missoula Community Access Television. Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm Cole Johnson. And I'm Kevin Cross. The Missoula Sentinel Spartans, great game last Friday night. They won 17 to 10 in overtime. Uh, uh, Mitch Roberts had a touchdown run in overtime, and Brandon Morley, two interceptions in that contest as the Spartans survive in OT. Uh, it was a defensive battle. The Spartans end the season six and four. They're in the playoffs. They're the number seven seed. But it was a dogfight in the second half, uh, defensive battle all the way through. Kempson, what did you see in this game, and how did uh, you see Sentinel compete? Well, you're absolutely right. It was a defensive struggle all night long, and that was part of, part of the reason for that was the offenses struggled with penalties all night long. And so that, that helps as far as on a defense. But the defense has to take advantage of the opportunities when they're there, and they did all night long. They were able to get good uh, penetration and get several sacks on each side and it, I think it was good for, for Sentinel to have to, even though they already clinched the playoff spot, they were coming off the bye, they got to shake a little bit of the rust off, they had to grind out a victory over a flathead team that, even though they're not making the playoffs this year, came to play. And for, for, uh, with, the, with the intensity of this game at times, it felt like a playoff game. And so I think those are good mental reps for the Spartans going into the postseason. Yeah, they did. They, they fought hard all the way to the end, and they were able to pull it out when they, uh, when they desperately need that win. Looking at the uh, out-of-town scoreboard, Billing Sr., undefeated 10-0, 14-0, or 14-0 win over Missoula Hellgate on the forfeit there. Kalispell Glacier took care of business against Missoula Big Sky, winning 47-7. Very impressive there. Billings West went into Helena High, lost that game, 35-28. Give Helena High credit. Um, a very big win there. Bozeman wins 38 to 16 at Skyview. Um, Helena Capital 35 to 28 winners um, over Billings West there, or excuse me, um, at Butte. And Sentinel winning 17 to 10 over Flathead. And Great Falls um, beating their crosstown rival CMR 34 to six. Very impressive um, win there. CMR actually beat Glacier for Glacier's only loss of the year. And CMR's not even in the playoffs. So stranger things have happened. Let's go through the playoffs right now. Sentinel, number seven seed, like we mentioned, playing the number two seed Glacier High Wolfpack. Glacier beat them 63 to 62 at Washington Grizzly Stadium last month. Um, what do you see in that game? How do you feel like Sentinel's best chances of winning are in that? Well, I think we've been saying it since last year. Sentinel remains explosive but inconsistent, and that kind of goes for on both side of the sides of the ball. On on Friday night, it was a good it was a good job by the defense, who uh, is arguably better than last year, even though last year they were pretty good, especially with coming up with stops at clutch times. But uh, this offense, as well, has been able to develop and grow over the course of, of the regular season. And um, they need to make it, – it, it's hard to make all the plays that are there. They need to make it, at the very least, most of them on mm -hmm. Friday night at Kalispell Glacier. It, it was a crazy all-time great game last time at Washington Grizzly Stadium, an instant classic of a shootout. And But the thing is, Glacier is – an offense that can score with anybody in the state. Uh, the defense sometimes give the, gives the offense a little bit too much of an opportunity to prove that. Um, and I think that's the best case scenario for for Sentinel to not dig themselves into a hole like they did with a couple turnovers last time. And they struggled with turnovers against Flathead as well. So that's a little bit of a concern. But if they can get into a shootout and they're, both offenses are firing on all cylinders on Friday night. This is going to be a fun game to watch. And Glacier, arguably the top challenger of Billing Senior, it would be a big upset if Sentinel was able to pull it off and it would be a great milestone for this program. It sure would, yeah. I mean, it would definitely be a huge upset. Um, number eight seed, uh, Missoula Big Sky going up against the number one seed undefeated, uh, Billing Senior. Yeah, two Missoula teams in the playoffs. I still got the M. So, still representing Missoula here. Um, yeah, big, big physical team um, in the Missoula Big Sky Eagles. They do get a little one-dimensional with the run game. Uh, quarterback Levi Janicaro leads that attack. He's he's a, a kind of athlete that could be an all-state running back. But uh, he's at the quarterback position, and when they're able to get that ground game rolling, then it can be a, they can grind out victories. They've almost pulled a couple upsets this season. But 62 to 20 was how it looked. Is is kind of how it looks. Uh, that was their last meeting against Billing Senior earlier this year, and I think that's kind of how it, it might 
look if they aren't able to get that run game going when they have to rely more on the pass game. Um, so we'll see. Billing Sr. is the clear-cut favorite. Nobody's been able to hang with them for, I, I want to say, 60 minutes, but it's not 60 minutes in high school football um, for an entire game. The Bronx, Nate Dick, Gabe Solster, you can go on down the line with, with their weapons. I expect the, the, the Billing Sr. Bronx to get uh, the postseason the postseason part of their run back to the state championship started on Friday night. Yeah, they're going to be playing at home the entire way. Um, I see them making a deep run into the playoffs for sure. Number five seed, Helena High, going against the number four seed, Bozeman High Hawks. Arguably the most intriguing matchup because neither of these teams have played each other in the regular season. The other three matchups have happened already. Um, yeah, an upset win over West for Helena was big. That's their signature win of the, of the whole year because the other playoff teams that they had played so far – uh, they had lost to, or their three losses came against playoff teams. I guess I should rephrase that a little bit. Glacier, Sentinel, and Capital. Um, <clears throat> Ryan Arnston and the Helena run game, I think, is important for the Bengals. Um, he had 48 carries in their upset win over West, so that, that gives you a little bit of a taste of how, how important he is. But, uh, yeah, Helena has – they don't you don't get a 7-3 and three by accident. And uh, so they've been able to, to, to win against a schedule that, um, that was a little easier than some others. Uh, but give them credit. They've been able to get those wins. Defending state champion, though, Bozeman. Have we forgotten that the Hawks are the defending yeah. state champion? Yeah, they, won they, last year. they won it by eight points over Billing Senior. Yes, they're eight and two, but they lost to Billing Senior and Glacier, arguably the top two teams in the state. So the Hawks are going to be on the warpath. Callahan O'Reilly, Lance McCutcheon. Um, Callahan O'Reilly is the new quarterback for, for Bozeman. Lance McCutcheon is another good playmaker for them. They lost their head coach, but it's, it's sort of a transition year, and they're still 8-2. and two. So that tells you a little something about the Bozeman Hawks program. I, I expect Bozeman to, uh, to advance out of this game. Um, but Helena will, will put up a fight for sure. Yeah, Bozeman High, defending state champions, you know, that means a lot when you've played in games like those, for sure. Uh, last playoff matchup, that's on Saturday, Capital High taking on Billings West. Capital, arguably the hottest team in the state of Montana, or at least in AA football, with a five-game win streak after they started the year one and four with that win coming on a Missoula Hellgate forfeit. That was it. The uh, But those four losses were to some of the top teams in the state. Um it, well, at least most of them were. And then their defense, uh, I mean, the the crosstown rivalry with Helena was a 3 nothing ball game. So that gives you a little taste of what their defense means means to the Bruins team. Billings West, though, their only other loss besides the upset loss at Helena is to Billings Senior. And so Billings West is still a good football team. And I think it's a little bit of a gut check maybe, um, a wake-up call if they did need that at Helena with the upset loss. And so now they're able to, to come back with, with a little, maybe a little more fire. Um, the Deming twins, Bryson, Braden, and the rest of the Billings West playmakers, the Golden Bears, I think will, will be able to, to get a win on Saturday afternoon. But we'll see. Capital will keep it close with that defense. I expect that to be a hard-fought football game. Should be an interesting playoff weekend for high school football. And we will definitely be recapping all of those games next Monday on our Wake Up Sports segment on MCAT. So we will see you next Monday. Have a great Halloween and a great rest of your week.